What's happening, Puff? I'll be back to you if JD ain't had enough. Every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. Diddy's world just exploded like a bomb. And his career is going down the drain, folks. And you'd never believe who's rocking his world cat. Williams has just dropped the wildest claims that Diddy and Jermaine Dupri were at some murky stuff, especially with young macho artists like Criss Cross and Wild. It may be too late for one of the Bandex members' cat is planning to expose the ugly truth that everyone has been silent about, but you all must remember the iconic duo Criss Cross those guys are known for. Are wearing outfits backwards now? Here are the rumors that Chris McDaddy Kelly's Ed in 2013 may have dark ties to his childhood star days. And here's Cat Williams who decided to reveal everything and drop a bombshell video that will finish Diddy off. Deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter. If you know nothing about the connections of the music mogul to the famous boy band Criss Cross, Let's dive into the chaos of the early 90s when hip hop with two boys named Chris and Chris blew the music roof off this duro caused mass hysteria on the music scene in their first album Totally. Crossed out sold like hot cakes with a circulation of more than 4 million copies, their hit Jump was heard from everywhere, staying at the top of the Billboard Hot 100 charts for eight weeks, the rhythm lyrics and that. Air explosive energy attracted everyone crisscross became iconic in their music videos. Especially the searing jump were played non-stop on music little did everyone know that behind their success, something shady was happening. Say one thing about Chris, you know, we had too many memories. In 1992, at the height of their fame, these guys went on tour with the king of pop Michael Jackson. However, behind the scenes of success with Criss Cross a darker battle was raging Chris Kelly's rapid rise to the stardom was overshadowed by a long and painful struggle with addiction to substances a battle that tragically consumed his life when he was 34 shortly after came a statement from Jermaine Dupri, who discovered Criss Cross at a mall in Atlanta in 1991 while they were performing for Shoppers Deep. Upri spoke about how special Kelly was beyond just his artistry and his words, especially after Cat's exposing truth of perceiving a sick to the world Chris was McDaddy, but to me he was a son I never had as much as you may think I taught him. He taught me, apparently, the demons of addiction that try. Has been fighting with behind the scenes are not just the pressure of success, and as Cat Williams suggested, it was that Diddy and Jermaine Dupri involved in a vicious play causing Chris Kelly and other young male artists mental trauma. Trauma. Because P. Diddy be wanting the body. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him. Rumors of foul play and violations of all imaginable laws when it came to producing have resurfaced. And while Diddy believed that all evidence about his crimes was buried, He's going to face the sad music of his downfall Chris Kelly's demise, has blown up the industry leaving it in shock. The toxicology report clearly indicated an odd the young man had a dangerous mixture of strong substances in his system, which ultimately led to his tragic end paramedics fighting for Kelly's life said that his friend end had informed them that he had taken a combination of heavy stuff the previous evening, the revelation of his struggle with addiction, led to the exposure of the demons he was fighting behind closed doors and the potential essay he had experienced as a child. Jermaine Dupri, king of the if you ask me, baby. As the world mourns the end of Chris Kelly's life, it's getting clear that Cat Williams remains relentless in his desire to expose the potential dark sides of the music industry and its main culprit Shay Diddy comes with all rumors and allegations that hover around Jermaine Dupri selling Chris to the music mogul Chris Smith also revealed something truly dark about his life. It's been a struggle for me every day, but there was a piece that came over me this morning because I know he's in heaven this life. 80 along with the many other people had all the evidence and it's no wonder that Cat Williams expressed his dislike of Deprian language that leaves no room for doubt that something sinister was happening to the young man in a 2011 video where he blasted various public figures, including Diddy Dupree and Steve Harvey Cat, didn't hold back. I started taking Chris and Chris over the house and we just started thinking about things to do and kept doing things. At the time, Many considered the comedian's statements to be simply the result of a boisterous nightlife, however. If you look at the recent allegations surrounding the music industry, 
it becomes obvious that Kat saw something in advance as one person commented people never use substances for no reason. Kids take that to cope with trauma always, and another user added, if you see anybody blow up quick in the music scene, just know they did some things. What is surprising is that Jermaine D. Pry did not rape. See a storm after Katz claims he chose not to respond to these accusations and not attempt any legal battle with Kat, forcing people to think about the truth behind these accusations. I start taking Chris and Chris over the house, and we just start thinking about things to do and kept doing things that... Situation got terribly nasty for him in 2018 when Bo Wow, who also was Du's protege, began to throw mysterious tweets hinting at some dark secrets, and now in light of the recent scandals surrounding Jaya. It's like Diddy people become more than skeptical of Jermaine and the entire music business, how he really ain't produce or write all the hits, like I'll think how they kept me from writing because they wanted all the publishing or how I was never signed to, so deaf. Let's talk about it after these Claims a growing ass of distrust in what was once the brilliant world of mentoring in the music industry began to swirl. And here's when Diddy's name got dragged into the mix because when you hear about Puff, Effie Flavor Camp, your jaw might drop. But the stories of celebrities who have experienced the mentorship of Diddy will make you all folks shudder. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up. And I mean, damn, one of those who settled under Puppy's wing was none other than Usher His. Journey to Art B. Fame began in his youth, and in 2016, he revealed to Howard Stern the dramatic year he spent with Puff Daddy when he was only 14 Usher did not shy away from saying the truth, I got a chance to. See some things I went there to see the lifestyle and I saw his revelations during an interview on the Stern show about what was going on behind the scenes of Puffy Flavor Camp were enough to make anyone think it was a look into the eyes of harsh reality, the price you have to pay for fame especially when you're a young guy under the steering mentorship of monstrous Puff Daddy, and you're going to go to Puff Daddy, he's going in the 90s. Do you understand what that's like, Usher's non-conventional? L training at the infamous Puffy Flavor Camp raised a lot of eyebrows, folks. It wasn't all work on new tunes and dropping hits. Apparently, Diddy was eager to introduce the young par to another side of the music world. And it's been said that Usher seen the horrors of these parties, luckily for Usher Heff escaped the tragic fate of Chris Kelly, and probably his mind had blocked all the memories, but here's the thing, it definitely looks like the rapper doesn't tell the whole truth about the music industry at Did's role in it, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at it, was it was pretty wild as young Usher was living with Diddy, he quickly realized that he needed to escape the music mogul's tight grip before it's too late as he later confessed I wanted to drop him. I wanted to be out of business with him. I broke his heart. I broke his mother's heart. It was a very tough period in both our lives. Apparently, this is why Usher didn't try to make his album outstanding at. After his first release with Diddy failed to meet commercial expectations, the music mobile distanced himself from Usher's next projects, and that probably saved his life and mind. You're a dad. Now would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp Hell? No. But if you think that Diddy has built all the Protective barriers around himself, here's the thing, Cat Williams insists on having something in possession that can ruin the music mobile in a second, and since he was invited to Diddy's bashes, he knows more than And he spills right now, as for Diddy's victims, Cat already highlighted the importance of staying true to one's principles and not succumbing to industry pressure, even for a huge pile of cash to turn down $50 million four times, four times just to protect my integrity, apparently with new. Details coming to the light, people are seeing the real colors of the music industry, and while the epic downfall starts with Diddy fans, believe that other mighty figures may follow soon enough as one person comment. And all getting turned out for fame and money just to realize they never wanted what came with it and another user added, Diddy sold his soul. Now he corrupts striving artists with deal rituals he's evil and needs to be exposed now Diddy is on the hot seat trying to save the shreds of his career after. This big exposure, and it looks to me that his days are numbered. But folks, I wanted to ask you, what do you think about all this? Could Diddy be finally facing the karmic wrath after Cat's bomb allegation? And is his career as the music mogul is finally over? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to check my other videos.